With the Borderlands film releasing any day now, I thought there was no better time than now to 100% and Platinum, the only game I haven't actually done. And that's Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, a Wonderlands one-shot adventure. That might be one of the longest names for a video game ever. Regardless of that, the story is about us playing through Tiny Tina's D&D game and with 31 trophies to earn, of which four of them I'd already unlocked way back in 2022. But before that, I think I know why I stopped playing it. Because I got lost a lot. As a massive Borderlands fan, it felt amazing to be back to playing a Borderlands game again. I might even do the PS5 version of Borderlands 3 since that one I haven't actually done. So let me know if you want to see that. With that said, what's actually involved in earning all of the trophies? Well. I'll need to play all of the different characters because there's a trophy tied to each of them. I'll need to grind up to level 35, which was actually pretty boring. Complete rank one of all of the challenges. And then only one trophy that's missable to worry about, which is for purchasing a certain item. And the reason you can miss this is because you can kind of hit the guy and then he won't sell you the item. Other than that though, I could just enjoy the game. So sit back, relax, and join me as a platinum Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Starting off, I loaded up my level 9 is 0 character and continued where I left off. But because I was already level 9, within a few minutes I reached level 10. For better than you were. Continuing on completing missions, I found this black area that had a health bar. Very confusing. So I shot at it, revealing a wall and a locked door, which unlocked a trophy. It's like that one video. As I was making my way up the castle and completing a bunch of other challenges, you can see them popping up in the bottom left. You complete them by doing basically everything, which earns you badass points, which you can then spend on bonus stats. After redeeming 25 of the tokens, I unlocked Token Gesture. After taking out a bunch of enemies, I came across this guy screaming at me to shoot him in the face, so obviously I did. And I unlocked... well, that was easy. Next I found myself nearing the end of the castle and came across Handsome Jack's daughter. So I freed her because why not? Which ended up with her turning into a giant spider and now we're in a boss fight. After taking her down, I double rolled the dice on a chest and unlocked. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Now I know you'll be loving this shit. right here. L I M P. Biscuit is right here. People in the house, put your hands on the eggs if you don't care. Though we don't care. One, two, three times up to the six. So I'd rather say I'm done. All right. Anyway, back on track. Finally, I reach the very top and face handsome Jack. This fight was quite long, but after defeating him, I freed the queen, which turned out to be but Stallion. Of course it did. I fed her some Iridium and saved Roland and finished Tiny Tina's campaign, earning us the final story trophy called Shouty, you so best. With the story finished, I headed back to the hub area and reset my skills on my character to help with the trophy later, but for now, I went to Butt Stallion and completed the side quest, which rewarded me with my 10th customization item. How do I look? Now that I'd leveled up a little bit and gone down the third skill tree, I was easily able to knock out Zero's Unseen Predator trophy for staying in his deception mode for 10 seconds straight. Oh, there's the trophy I was mentioning. Going back to Flame Rock Refuge, I headed towards Crazy Earl, who runs the Black Market, to spend Iridium I'd been collecting throughout the game. That's those purple bricks you've seen being dropped. After purchasing five, I unlocked better than money. Ooh, a trophy. Next was the only missable trophy. Hmm. Which was for finding this guy, Mr. Miz. Hanging around in the lair of infinite agony. The side mission is super easy, to be fair. The reason it's missable is because you have to purchase the and equip the mysterious amulet. But once you start the quest, you're given a choice. Two options. You can use his shot, or you can punch him. With this being a Borderlands game, I really wanted to punch him. And if I didn't know this was missable, I probably would have. Which would have avoided the trophy. Luckily, I knew about it beforehand. So... I instead used his shop, bought the amulet, the amulet, and shoved it on my character. I then won the temple side mission. There is so, it's, there is so many of these badass arcs in there. Right, wave five. Oh, 
that mod is going crazy. We've just completed the badass round. Yeah, there we go. Dang, girl. You wasted this game. Fired the looter pult. Check that chest out, man. I want it. Wait, use? Oh my god, we got a trophy for it. <laughs> Let there be loot. Since I wasn't strong enough for the raid just yet, I went into true Vault Hunter mode to level up some more. This is basically New Game Plus, and the enemies are going to be a lot higher leveled. Once I'd made my way through a little bit, I reached level 25. Oh, finally, we popped a trophy. Always improving. Level 25. The next trophy I got was decked out for having the purple rarity gear, or better, equipped in every slot. Purple art. Oh, I can probably get that trophy now. So if I equip that grenade and then switch out those two weapons at the top, that should push me to... Yeah, there we go. Cool. I then got the trophy Girls Gotta Eat for feeding the Noble Queen twice during a single visit to a quarters. So there's Let's one. She's going to fart out. Oh, I've gone. Okay. So do that three times. Fart out number two. Oh, nice. no. Puke this time. Okay. And last one. Yeah, there we go. Girls Gotta Eat. Oh, she pooped out an epic as well. Nice. Shortly after that, I'd now leveled up a decent amount in true Vault Hunter mode, so I got my ass back over to the normal mode, so the raid boss would be a little bit lower level and more easy to manage. The trophy was Make It Raid, which was for vanquishing the ancient dragons of destruction. Alright, here we go. Time for the raid. Let's see if we can pull off this raid kill. Here we are. Drop into the raid arena, sign the waiver, and fight the dragons. Oh, it's only level 21. I might just melt this thing. Okay, I mean, it's definitely still going to take a, a bit to kill, but... Wait, I'm not even damaging that, am I? I wonder if you can only do damage with a specific, like, element. Oh, wow, we're doing crazy damage on that one. It's barely damaging us as well, so I can literally just tank it. Oh, i got to be careful for that, though. They knocked me off the map. Some One of them's really trying its best to knock me off. All right, that's one dragon down. Oh, so the health bar at the top is, it seems like it's all of the dragons combined. It's not just the one dragon. This one's called Heal of the, as well, so it might heal the other dragons. But this one's even tankier, I think. Uh, that one's not too strong. Let's take this one out. Yeah, this one's not really got much health. Nice, there we go. We came in prepared and it's, it's paying off. This one's called Boost. Let's see if we can get rid of this one. No, you can bugger off. I need the boost. Seems like I'm gonna have to take this one out because it's not, the other one's not coming down. I mean, all I really need to do is just stand there wailing on it. See if I can get this one to drop. Yeah, there we go, cool. This one should be pretty easy to kill. Nice, right, last dragon now. The last time I tried this, I was getting absolutely demolished. So I think we should get two trophies once we complete this. I should get the trophy for completing the raid, and I should also get the trophy for completing every side quest. Should have enough ammo to finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Let's get it. Make it raid, which is for vanquishing the dragons of destruction. A new milestone. I'll take it. And then I should get the trophy for every side quest. This is a lot of loot. Oh my lord. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get the trophy now for handing in this final quest. Yeah, there we go. We love to see it. Did it all. Completed all side missions. For these next four trophies, I had to make new characters and use their abilities that you unlock at level two. First, I made Axton and had to kill 100 enemies with his saber turret. So I completed the short five minute intro, entered Flame Rock Refuge and then left so I would get a checkpoint. Now I ran down this beach, letting my turret get the kills. And once done, I basically just saved and quit which would spawn me right back at the door with all the enemies back alive. Rinse and repeat until I'd killed 100. Pretty boring, but easy enough. The next character I made was Maya. Pretty much the same thing to begin with as the other one, but this time I didn't need kills. I just needed to use a phase lock ability, and you can even use it multiple times on the same enemy, but eventually they will die. I, however, just used it one time and then killed the enemy because the game has an in-game tracker for kills using the ability, so I thought it'd be easier to just know where I'm at. After about an hour, the trophy was mine. With that one done, I moved on to Gage, where I, well, 
you guessed it, needed to kill 100 enemies with a death trap ability. Used the exact same area as before, thankfully this one only took about 25 minutes and we became best friends forever. Now it was time to kill 100 enemies while in Craig's psycho mode, which meant I was now the conductor of the poop train. So with all those done, it left only one more character, and that was Salvador and his Gunzerker ability. The big difference here was instead of needing 100 kills, I had to remain in his Gunzerker mode for 90 seconds in one activation. Because of this, I actually needed to get a decent amount of level ups to increase its duration. While progressing the story, I beat the boss and entered the lair of infinite agony. That has a ton of spider enemies, which was a great place for so much blood. Now that I'd done every character and got the trophy associated with them, I jumped back onto my main character and decided to look for the stupidly rare mini boss called Chubby. He can randomly spawn in a few different areas. The one I chose, no surprise, was the same area I've been grinding out all my character kills. And after what felt like forever, he finally spawned. Oh my god, finally found him. Yes, that took so long to find that dude. Cute chubby, kill a chubby. Now I could get back to grinding out XP to reach level 35. This took longer than I expected and was honestly pretty bloody boring. Because this was kind of a side game, it just doesn't have enough content in it to warrant level 35. I think level 20 would have been way better. Regardless, while doing that, I managed to complete my final challenge, which was to get a kill with shock damage while I was in fight for your life. For this trophy, I had to complete rank one of every challenge in the game with a single character. Oh, nice, challenge accepted. That leaves only two more trophies. So let's continue the grind for level 35, which at this point, I was super close. Let's go, capped out for now. Level 30, bloody five. Only one more trophy to go. And I should, in theory, be able to get it within uh, two minutes. So, let's go get it. All right, here we are. I'm back in my favorite place in the whole game where I've probably got the majority of my trophies. Yeah, all I need to do, revive someone who is on my friends list. So, I'm gonna pop over to my second controller and I'm gonna log into Mr. Leaning Versus, who should be on my friends list. So hopefully now he can join. Mr. Leaning Versus has joined the struggle, confirm. There we go, so hopefully now, because he's on my friends list, I should be able to just simply run over here, get him knocked on his ass, and uh, go pick him up. Go on, Mr. Leaning Versus, get in there, get your ass dropped. Let's get rid of the other enemies. Come on, kill him. Oh, not, not me. There we go. And then hopefully that will level him up. We're good. All right, now we can pick him up, and hopefully this will be our final trophy and the beautiful platinum. Yeah, there it is. Friendship rules. So that was for reviving someone who was on my friends list. And then, obviously, the incredible Dragon Keep assaulted platinum trophy. The trophy is ours, the platinum is ours. That is all. 31 trophies and 100% in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. I've been Mr. Leaning. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully, I'll be back with some Borderlands 3. And until then, take care, happy gaming, and I'll catch you all on the next video.